Hey everybody, it's me again with 896 and this is Welshman's vlog number 8. For those of you who may be new to my channel and know nothing about this video series, this is where I talk about everything that's going on with me in my world of comic books and anything else pertaining to uh, pop culture that I want to talk about. Um, as always, I've got some notes on my laptop which is off screen, so if I look off screen for a few minutes, this is just me just compiling my notes and finding the next thing I want to talk about. Um, so, I've got a few announcements to make, uh, well, one and that, well, two announcements really, and a couple of thank yous and some shout outs to get out at the end as well. So, that way you guys have a reason to stay till the end. So, without further ado, let's get into this vlog video. Um, first and foremost, um, well, I guess I'll start off with the first announcement. Um, for those of you who followed the Norton's International Comic Expo, uh, last year, where, um, Alan Moore was one of the um, was the guest speaker last year during 2012. Um, there's another Northern International Comic Expo, or NICE as it's abbreviated to, uh, this year. And the venue location has changed and it will be held at the um, <clears throat> the Corn Exchange building in Bedford on the weekend preceding the 7th and the 8th of September of this year, which I'm hoping to, um, which I'm hoping to go to, actually, and, um, Meet a few creative, well, meet a few creators, get a few books signed here and there. Um, just, yeah, just hoping to, that's going to be my first, um, first convention. And my scenery curtain does not want to cooperate. <laughs> um, anywho, um, so, the lineup for this year, um, will be Garth Ennis, will be the guest speaker this year, which I'm really excited about. Um, also, we will have Steve Dillon, who is the artist on Preacher, which is Garth Ennis' most well-known book. Um, also, Glenn Fabry, who did all the original series covers for uh, for Preacher. Um, he's going to be there as well. Um, he also did some of the early Garth Ennis um, Hellblazer covers as well. Um, so I'm hoping to get some of my... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Hoping to get some of my... Preacher trades signed by uh, by those guys. Um, in terms of who else will be going, um, that has been announced thus far. Uh, we'll have RM Guerrera, who I believe worked on Jason Aaron's Scalp series, Scalped series as the um, regular series artist for the full 60 issue run. Uh, David Hyde and Shaky Kane, the creative team behind the Bulletproof Coffin uh, series from Image. Uh, Ian Churchill, Doug Braithwaite, um, Andy, oh sorry, A.D. Granov, um, Simon Beisley, uh, Steve Dillon, Glenn Fabry, like I said, uh, Melinda J Jebby, J G E W B I E. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, John Watson, uh, Dylan Teague. Ben Oliver, Isad Ribic, of course doing the artwork on Jason Aaron's Thor The God of Thunder series from Marvel Now. Um, Jamie Delano, uh, one of the first Hellblazer writers when the series initially started back in the 80s. Um, so I'm going to get some of my early Hellblazer trades signed by Jamie Delano. Uh, Mike Carey, Emanuelo Lupacino, who will be the... who's doing the next trade paperback story arc of issues 5 through 9 of... Um, Archer and Armstrong. Uh, Simon Furman, who's the regular series uh, writer on the Transformers. And Gil Gilemo Ortigo. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, anyway, I'll put a link to the Northern International Comic Expo Facebook page in the description. So if you guys want to check that out, then by all means feel free to do so. Uh, next up is that Joshua Health Yarkov has left Red, uh, Red Lanterns and the Green Lantern Corps over a disagreement of, with DC, um, which the original pitch that Fyarkov made was a um, uh, an intergalactic crime-based story within the Green Lantern series, which is, sounds very interesting, um, but unfortunately he won't be doing those books anymore because the editorial team over at DC um, wanted um, or originally wanted to kill off the character of longtime Green Lantern 
uh, John Stewart, which Fialkov didn't want to do. So then he left the book citing that he wished that, well, that he thought it best that DC tell the story how they wanted to tell it. Um, I have to admit, I don't pick up that many DC books um, with the New 52. I think I'm picking up five books, barring the two that have been cancelled, which is um, Frankenstein, Asian of Shade and I, Vampire, um, which Fialkov did a fantastic job on, uh, on I, Vampire so far. Um, um, yeah, I just think that maybe the, the editorial team need to lay off a bit and give creators more um, more creative freedom, really, in, uh, to do the stories that they want to tell. I mean, Fialkov has done, you know, he's done some great stuff, like I said, for DC, for the New 52. Um, like I said, here's A Vampire Volume 1 which collects issues 1 through 6 and I Vampire Volume 2 which collects Justice League Dark issues 7 and 8 and also uh, I Vampire issues 7 through 12 which I'm really really looking forward to delving into reading and reviewing for you guys um, Fialkov has also done um, Last of the Greats which is a 5 issue uh, limited series or image um, and depending upon the sales numbers of that book, he was going to come back and do um, the return of the greats, which we see here. Now, if Fialkov wants to go elsewhere, um, by all means, Josh, if you're watching this, you know, feel free to go back to Image and write uh, the return of the greats. Um, although that being said, with issue 25 of the Ultimate Comics, the Ultimates series. Um, Fialkov will be taking over that, um, I'm not too sure who the artist is off the top of my head, I'll put an annotation somewhere in this video. Um, also D Andy Diggle has left um, Action Comics, um, which has been taken over by um, Tony Daniel, who's going to be doing the writing and the artwork I believe. Uh, Red Lanterns will be written by... Uh, Van Jensen, who wrote the Pinocchio Vampire Slayer um, series, which a good friend of mine, uh, Drew42, uh, or Rue, highly recommends. I'll put a link to Rue's channel in the description if you haven't checked his channel out already. Um, so he'll be writing Green Lantern Corps, um, and he'll also be getting a co-plot co assist from Robert Vendetti, Venditti, who will be writing the main um, Green Lantern series. Um, Red Lanterns will be taken over by New Swamp Thing writer Charles Sewell, who I believe did a image series called uh, 27, I believe. I um, haven't read it, but I've heard some good things about it so far. Um, also, Neil Gaiman will be returning to the Marvel Universe to write um, a Spawn character, um, Angela, as there was a big um, legal battle over the character's rights, apparently. Um, which Neil Gaiman um, essentially has won. So he's going to be introducing Angela into the Marvel Universe. And he'll also be co-writing the final issue of Age of Ultron with Brian Michael Bendis with issue 10. And he'll also be writing issue or co-writing issue 5 with um, Brian Michael Bendis on Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, also, this is probably old news, but maybe some of you guys haven't heard anything about it until now. Uh, but Neil Gaiman has a Sandman prequel series coming out this fall um, with artist G.H. Williams on the artwork, uh, which I'm really looking forward to seeing. Um, Valiant have also teased a new series to come out in July with the tagline, uh, The World's Greatest Comic Book Company Presents the World's Worst Superhero Team. Now, I'm relatively new to Valiant, so I'm not sure which series this might be. But for all of you Valiant fans out there, you have a new series to look forward to in July. Again, anything I've covered in this vlog video, I'll put a bunch of links in the description. So if you guys want to check out anything I've talked about, by all means feel free to click expand on the description and all the links will be there. Um, in terms of what I've read recently, um, Angel and Faith, Volume 1, uh, Live Through This by Chris Gage, Rebecca Isaacs and Phil Noto. This is issues 1 through 5 of the Angel and Faith series, um, which is published by Dark Horse. 
um, which I'll be putting up my review of in the next few days. Um, Bloodshot Volume 1, Setting the World on Fire, um, by Dwayne Straczynski and Manuel Garcia, which collects issues 1 through 4 of the Valiant series. Scarlet Spider, uh, Volume 1, Life After Death, by Christopher Yost and um, Ryan Stegman and Neil Edwards, um, which collects issues 1 through 6 of the series, plus uh, a 0.1 issue as well. Archer and Armstrong, Volume 1, The Michelangelo Code, um, by Fred Van Lente and, um, or Lante, sorry, no, Lente, sorry, I do apologise, and Clayton Henry, which the artwork in the next story arc will be, um, let me just check, actually. Yeah, it will be, um, in Manuelo, uh, Lupacino, in the next story arc, which collects issues 5 through... Through, yeah, 5 through 9, yeah. Also, um, X Factor Volume 1, The Longest Night, uh, by Peter David, uh, Ryan Souk, and Dennis Calero, which collects issues 1 through 6 of X Factor uh, series or Volume 3. Um, Ghost Critic, if you're watching this vlog video, um, I have a review up of this first trade. And also, X Factor Volume 2, uh, Life and Death Matters, which collects issues 7 through 12. Um, again by Peter David, um, Dennis Calero, uh, Ariel Olivetti, uh, and Renato Alem. So if you're interested in more X Factor Ghost Critic, definitely recommend Volume 3 or Series 3 by Peter David. A um, couple of announcements to make. Um, I've just, well, I've recently got past the 200 subscriber mark on my, uh, on my channel. So I want to do a 200 or getting past 200 subscriber um, question and answers video. So um, if you guys have any questions for me, um, by all means feel free to leave a, a question in the comment section below. Or if you don't want to leave a comment, by all means feel free to um, send me a private message um, and I'll answer the questions um, as and when. Um, I'll leave this open until um, not next Saturday, which will be the 30th of March, but the Saturday after, which will be the 6th of um, 6th of April. So you guys got uh, two weeks to um, get those questions in and uh, ask me anything you want to ask me. Um, <clears throat> also, um, recently I was a guest... Um, uh, I was a guest on the latest Excalibur Brits uh, podcast with Dr. Monkeybot, Ghost Critic, and Mark M A W W W One, which was a hell of a lot of fun. I really enjoyed myself. It was a really great time. We all had a really good laugh um, on the podcast. So I'll put a link to that latest podcast in the description. Um, also, I want to give some shout outs to both, well, to all three gentlemen, uh, Dr. Monkeybot, Ghost Critic, and maww one three great gentlemen of the YouTube community they all do really fantastic videos I'll put a link to all three of these gentlemen's um, channels in the description and if any of the three gentlemen are watching right now um, thank you very much for, uh, for having me on the podcast um, so I thought I'd just say that um, officially in a video um, is there anything else I want to talk about um, also um, with the Angel and Faith Volume 1 uh, Live Through This review. Um, I want to give a shout, well, two shout outs to uh, Gru42 or Ru. I'll put a link to this guy's channel in the description. He's a really good friend of mine. We chat every once in a while on Skype about all things comic book related. Um, and also uh, Mr. James Donnelly. Um, these two gentlemen were kind of my main inspiration for picking up this series, um, as I've heard nothing but great things about it from these two gentlemen. So again, I'll put links to um, James Donnelly's channel in the description as well. Um, so if you guys haven't checked out his channel, highly recommend you do so. And that about concludes this review video, guys. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. As always, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section. And if you're new, please feel free to subscribe. Um, like I said, if you guys want to ask me a question from my um, 
getting past 200, 200 subscriber uh, question and answers video feel free to leave a comment below or send me a private message um, again feel free to check the description below for a bunch of links that I have to stuff um, that I've talked about in this vlog if you want to um, read up on it or expand on it further and until next time this is Scambit896 signing off and I'll see you guys next time take care guys